Hi, welcome back to another session for Pro Tools Expert. And there's a cool track in the charts at the moment in the Billboard Top 100, number five right now, Die Young. And there's that cool acoustic guitar at the beginning. And I just want to do a very quick video to show you how you achieve that guitar. There's a couple of things I'd like to show you first. It's a stereo acoustic guitar. So I'm going to show you how to get a very cool stereo effect very quickly with an acoustic guitar. So here's one acoustic guitar at the moment in mono. <laughs> Now, before anybody comments, this is not the pattern from the track. This is just a, a loop I've just bought in for this demonstration from the Apple Loop Library. So this isn't the strumming pattern from that track. It's just to give you an example of how to do this. So there's one acoustic guitar down there at the moment. So what I'm going to do is right mouse click on this track and I'm going to duplicate it. So we now have two in mono copies of the same track. I'll just pull them down a bit because they're going to be summed together. So... So we put those in pan now, nothing's going to happen. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to zoom right in, press command and the brackets to the right, you get right in at this kind of level, then get the second one and just move it slightly, just move it slightly. Now you've got to be in slip mode here for the move to happen. So move that to about there, now play them, keep moving it, it gets wider. if you move it too far you get a delay so that's about so the further out that goes the wider it gets so about there I'm going to zoom back in now and the next thing I'm going to do is here because we've moved it now this is slightly longer than that one if we went round in a loop I'm going to go to grid it's going to get the end of this and just tap it back to there now what I'm also going to do is I'm going to mark both of them Holding down the shift key, come back out a bit, press the Alt, Shift and the 3. And I've re-rendered them so now that they're both the same length but in stereo. I want to make this to a stereo track now. There's a really cool trick in Pro Tools. So you go New, Stereo, Audio Track. Grab them both, pick them up and drag them. You've now got them both in stereo. <laughs> So there's our stereo guitar. Now the next thing we want to do is get that effect that's on the beginning of the track. That's pretty straightforward. So let me just name that for a second. Now these are redundant tracks now, so I'm just going to hide those. Open this up a bit. Also I'm going to add a bit of air to that guitar. So I'm going to put my 7 band EQ in. I'm just going to lift the top end a bit. Pull down the bottom end a bit as well. nice nice kind of right stereo guitar now here's the trick we need to do to get the sound that's on the beginning of this track we're going to go back down to design to my old favorite vintage filter we can use any filter for this but I'm going to use the vintage filter that comes with it and there's the cutoff frequency T turn the fat right down to zero it's got to do that we've got to automate it so what we're going to do so I'm going to duplicate that track first. So we've got double the length there. I'm going to automate it from this point and it's going to come in as it plays like this. So start it from the beginning. That's all we need to do. So press Control, Alt and Command on a Mac or Control, Alt and I think Start on a Windows machine. Windows users, I'm sure you'll point out what it is for me. And now it goes green, so that now is automatable. I'm going to draw in the automation. So we drop this down, go to here, to cut off, open this up a bit wider so we've got some space, and come here now to the line tool. If it's not showing, it'll be freehand. That means it'll just draw whatever you put in. But if you get a line, it's going to be consistently going up. We just draw it in a line like that. Let's try that. So that's not far enough down yet, so I'm going to go all the way back to the beginning again, try it from there. If you want to start it from virtually zero, bring it right down, you can do that. But 
On the track it's shorter, so it's half the length. It's about there. So you could then bring that down even further. And there we go. That's how you do it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.